With the new proprietary digital connection known as the L6 Link, it is now possible to connect a POD HD500 to the DT50 and DT25 amplifier for integrated control of the amp's tone-related features. You can connect up to four DT series amplifiers with a single POD HD500. On the HD500, select a preset. Let's start with a single amp tone. If the preset you're on has a dual amp tone, please toggle off Amp B for now. Go back to Amp A and choose a preamp model using knob 1. We recommend using a preamp model when feeding an external tube amp such as a DT25 or DT50. Press and hold the view button for at least 3 seconds to go into the setup screen. On page 4 of 9, we're going to use knob 1 to select combo power amp since we're connecting to a DT25. Go to page 8 of 9 and set amp 1 to left right. This will capture both channels of the HD500 signal and feed the first or only connected DT amp. Going to page 9 of 9, make sure amp 1 is set to amp A channel 1. What this does is to tell the first or only DT to sync with HD500 amp model A. Connect an XLR cable from the HD500's L6 link jack directly to the DT25's L6 link in jack. Please consider using an AES-EBU type XLR cable for best audio results, since this is a digital connection. The following scenes will show how turning the knob of the DT25 amp will display real-time value changes in the LCD of the HD500 via the L6 Link digital connection. Of course, you'll hear tonal changes as they occur as well if you're playing a guitar through the amplifier. This final section covers how to add a second DT amplifier into the equation. Connect a second XLR cable from the L6 link through on the back of the DT25 to the second DT amplifier. If you have a dual tone patch and wish to separate the outputs, simply change amp 1 to amp model A and amp 2 to amp model B. This concludes the L6 Link connectivity video tutorial for our HD500 and DT amplifier products. Thank you for watching.